This is an Icon Ministry production with the support of our ministry partners and donors. God wants us to be free. And the thing is, He's already won the price for us. He's already won the price for us to be free. But sometimes people are stuck in a place of darkness. They're stuck in a place where they cannot break free. Now, I'm not talking about addictions. I'm not talking about things that, that go wrong necessarily uh, to, through the things that we do wrong. But sometimes people end up in a place where the demonic has taken over. We can see this with Jesus and many psychologists and modern day scholars say, no, this was ep an epileptic fit and this was psychosis and this was this. But I know as a fact that exorcism and deliverance is necessary on our Christian walk. When I was studying in the seminary, um, we studied demonology and I worked with um, uh, Gabriel Amort and I worked with, with Father um, Marcello Ghirlando, who are, are the top exorcists ever. Like the, the, the Pope's exorcist was written about Father Gabriel Amort. And one thing they often said was 99% of people who think they need exorcism do not. So exorcism in itself is rare, but it happens. It happens. I've been and I have attended a lot of exorcisms, but out of all of the exorcisms I have attended, I have seen the victory of God. Never for a moment was I scared. Never for a moment was I feeling insecure. First of all, the first thing that a priest, or even I was a seminarian at the time, the first ones I went to, the first thing that we have to do is to make sure we go to confession because we don't want to allow the evil, the demonic that will be there in that room to, to pick on our sinfulness. So that was the first thing I did. I went to confession. I confessed all my sins. I made sure that everything that I was clear before God. So we met in this room, for example, and we'd pray with these people. Now, I've seen people levitate, I've seen people convulse, I've seen, I heard demons talk, I've seen all of this. But two things that really impressed me was one time we were praying with an exorcist for these um, witch, people involved in witchcraft. And they came to this event and they were disturbing this event and eventually they had a conversation and they put them in this room where they started to, to pray with them because eventually they realized that it, it, there was something in them that caused them to do it, even though they didn't want to do the evil they were doing at that moment during this event. Now, what happened was the, the priests started praying and they started having these, these uh, manifestations. But here, this is not what impressed me. This is what impressed me. The first thing that impressed me was that the, the, this woman who was involved in witchcraft, so we calmed down because they get exhausted. People get exhausted when they're doing exorcism. So we took a break. We got, got her some, something to drink and we got some food and we, we sat down, had, had a conversation. Remember, we're praying for deliverance of the demons, not that person is still a good and holy, a potential for holiness. That person still is a child of God. Okay, so we're never attacking the individual, but the demons inside. And so as this person was having a drink, the exorcist tapped me on the shoulder and said, Rob, look at this, look at this. And what he did was gently, silently, he, he made the sign of the cross. He did like this and he, he blessed the water that she was drinking. And out of nowhere, out of this uh, normal conversation, all of a sudden she spits out this water and she cannot understand what happened, but she, her mouth is burning and, and then they start to pray again. That was incredible, it showed me the power of sacramentals, the power of holy water, the power of God's grace and God's goodness towards us as he gives us these wonderful gifts. And some might think this is crazy, but this is also true that I've seen with my own eyes over and over again. Another thing, and I'll say this quickly, was we're having a deliverance and there was this person, he was literally levitating and there were five people trying to hold him down and still he was lifting us off the ground. And as we're there, all of a sudden, the, another priest walks in, but he happened to be going to give communion. So he had the, the Eucharist in, 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 uh, with a strap around his neck and in his pocket. And as he went, the, the guy, as soon as the priest walked in, the, the guy just calmed down, went down. And we sort of relaxed because we thought, okay, the manifestation has stopped. 
But the demons knew what they were doing. So what happened was when this priest with the Eucharist worked close enough, this boy who was being delivered, exercised, re reached out his hand and, and ran towards, ran towards this priest with the Eucharist and put his hand in the pocket, tried to put his hand in the pocket where the Eucharist was. He knew that the Eucharist was there. He sensed the Eucharist was there and he was filled with hate. He wanted to take that Eucharist and throw it to the side, but God's grace was bigger. God's grace was stronger. Again, it showed me, the devil himself showed us that the power of Jesus is greater, that the evil one, the demons are terrified of the Eucharist. God is powerful. God is immeasurable. And the devil trembles at the Eucharist and even at holy water. These are beautiful gifts that God has given us and he continues to allow us to approach, to use, to utilize, to become part of so that we may become saints. Don't underestimate the power of what God has given us. And always remember that God is more powerful than anything that might be disturbing you in your life, any evil in your life. To God be the glory. Lord, we ask you to protect us from the evil one. We ask you to seal anything that is of evil, seal us from anything that is of evil in our lives because we want, Lord Jesus, to serve you, to glorify you, and to honor you in all things. This production is only made possible because of the generous support of Icon Ministry partners and donors. Please go to iconministry.com slash donate to make a donation today.